everyone, welcome back to Cooking for Two 101. I'm Christy. John's behind the counter filming. Thanks, John. I know it's hard work. I appreciate you. Today we are making uh, marinated ahi tuna steaks on our cool new induction stove in a cast iron skillet. We're also making a uh, teriyaki noodle salad, which is like you just want to make more because it's so delicious the next day. But first we're going to start with the marinade. I have grated about an uh, inch and a half of fresh ginger into this bowl. Yum. We are going to squeeze in a couple of cloves of garlic. And if you want to use the big parts of the garlic that are in there, it's fine this time because we're actually not going to use this marinade after we uh, use, uh, marinade the fish. It's a lot of marinades in the same sentence, but you know what I mean. So a couple of cloves of that. Yum. Oh, God, that smells good. <laughs> That's a good garlic. We're also going to add about um, a quarter of a cup of minced cilantro. Some people don't like cilantro, and I get that. It's totally fine. If you don't like it, you can leave this out. Uh, it does add an extra bit of yumminess. But I do want to give you a little secret on how to keep your cilantro. Uh, what you want to do is trim off all the leaves that would be under the water and treat it like a flower arrangement. Cut off the stems, put them in water, none of the leaves under it, and it will last much longer as, uh, than it would if you just left it in a uh, plastic bag in the fridge. Okay, we are also going to squeeze in about a half of a lime. These are really tiny, so I might do more. We're going to put in about a small shallot that I have diced into just tiny pieces, uh, and then we are oh. going to add the traditional marinade ingredients, some soy sauce. Uh, you can use low sodium soy sauce if you like, uh, or not, it's totally up to you. We're gonna add in about, that was a cup, and this is gonna be about a tablespoon of agave. You can use honey if you like, also delicious. And a little bit, maybe a tablespoon of rice wine, uh, mirin, which is a, a type of rice wine. We're gonna mix this up. And then we're gonna add our tuna. So I went to see my butcher, cause I love to do that. And I, I got some fresh caught, well caught tuna. Uh, it cost me $5.46. What a deal. If you go to a restaurant and get this, it's gonna cost you a whole lot more than that. Okay, let's get rid of that. But look at how beautiful they are. They're bright pink, they're super fresh. Oh, they're firm. Look at them, oh, they're beautiful. Thank you, butcher. We're gonna put those right in the marinade. And we're gonna put this in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes. Because of the lime juice, you don't wanna leave, leave it in there too long. It will, it will start to cook it, and then you'd have civet jay, and that's not what we're making today. So, we're going to stick that in the fridge. Wash off my hands real quick. And get started on our noodle salad because it wants to be cold when you serve it. So in this bowl, I have one and a half, uh, kind of a large carrot grated up just on my cheese grater, no big deal. I'm going to add about a half a pound of cooked uh, thin spaghetti. You can use angel hair, you can use you know, something kind of thin. You don't want a whole big thick pasta in here. You want something like this. When this was done, I drained it and I, I put a very, very small amount of sesame oil. That stuff goes a long way. You don't need a lot. So uh, that's what we're gonna add next. There we go. Next, we're going to add my, one of my favorite shortcuts, store-bought teriyaki sauce. And I'm using this because I don't wanna take the time to add some cornstarch, thicken it up, cool it down, blah, blah, blah. This is good enough. Use whatever you like. We like this island teriyaki marinade. It's super delicious. It has all the good stuff, including sesame seeds. It's sweet, it's tangy, it's very yummy. And I'm gonna add about a half a cup to start. Then we're gonna toss it about and see how it goes. I'm also gonna add to the carrots and the pasta some chopped scallions, cause yum. Okay, now we're going to toss it about a bit. Here we go, there they are. And coat all the noodles with 
the teriyaki. Make sure you incorporate all of the carrots that we grated up. Yum. Oh my god, it smells so good. It's ridiculous. Okay, and, and the last ingredient, such a simple salad, so easy, is just some toasted sesame seeds. I put them in a dry pan. And I toasted them on medium heat till they started to just turn lightly brown and you could kind of smell them. We're just gonna sprinkle those on top. Boom, done. We're gonna to toss them in. We're gonna put this in the fridge. And as soon as this is cold, it will be ready to serve. It's gonna take about 45 minutes maybe, which gives us a perfect amount of time to get that tuna out after it marinades and cook it up. Okay, we'll be back in a few. Okay, so while everything is in the refrigerator, marinating, chilling, we're gonna make a quick tartar sauce. I'm gonna put two tablespoons of mayonnaise in this bowl. I am going to add to it about five diced, uh, what are these, Famous Dave's spicy pickles. They're so, they're so good. And if you add this to your tartar sauce, it really just gives it a little punch that you weren't quite expecting. I'm also going to pour in a little bit of the marinade or the uh, pickling juice just to thin out the sauce a little bit uh, and give it a little bit of a stir. Yum. Next, we're going to add a couple of dashes of Worcestershire sauce. That gives it a little bit of uh, umami flavor and also gives it a little... Uh, smokiness, that depth of flavor that makes it seem like you worked all day on this when you really didn't. And we're going to squeeze in a pinch of lime juice. If you had lemon, you could use that, uh, but I have lime, so we're gonna use that. But a little bit of fresh citrus really helps a homemade tartar sauce. And that's it. We're gonna put this in the refrigerator. Uh, we're going to cover it with saran wrap, and then uh, in about 20 minutes, when the tuna steaks are done marinating, we're going to grill it. Yum! Okay, we're back. The tuna is marinated, the pasta salad is chilled, and we are now working on bringing our cast iron skillet up to temperature. We got a new induction uh, cooktop, so I could actually cook in front of you as opposed to standing over there so this is our first time using it we have set it at 7.0 which means medium high uh, hopefully that'll uh, be perfect for searing uh, tuna steak you don't have to cook tuna very very long you just want to do it fast and uh, hot so I'm going to put some grapeseed oil in my pan uh, this is a cast iron skillet it has little ridges on it we bought this when we were camping one time and forgot to bring our cast iron skillet and we thought, well, if we're gonna buy another one, let's buy a different one. So that's what we got. Okay, here's our beautiful tuna steaks that have been marinating. I'm telling you, if I could drink this, I would. It smells amazing. Cilantro, lime juice, garlic, uh, scal uh, scallions, no, uh, shallots. Listen to that. Yay, that's what you want to hear. Honey. Soy sauce, mirin. Oh my gosh! Amazing. Okay, the downside of cooking over here, there's no pan. <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, you want to let it sit and sear for about three, four minutes, depending on how hot your pan is. Then you want to turn it a little bit so that you get those cool hash marks that we love. Then you want to flip it over. You don't want to cook this all the way through. Uh, fresh ahi tuna is meant to be served medium rare, so it's cooked on the outside and bright pink in the middle, and that's when it tastes the best. So we're going to give this a few minutes, and we'll come back when we're ready to serve it. All right, so we've grilled both sides. They look delicious. They're very thick, though, so I'm going to cook them a little bit on each side, like that, because the grill marks are so pretty. So it's going to take a couple, maybe 30 seconds, flip them over 30 seconds, then we'll be done. Let them rest. We'll be right back. All right, our tuna is perfectly cooked. We seared it on both sides. We did move it a little bit so it would get these cool grill marks on it. It probably took maybe 
three minutes, three minutes, and then it's really thick, so we did stand it up on its edges just to get some sear on the uh, around the outside, because that seared part's pretty delicious, quite frankly. Uh, now we're gonna plate up. So I have already added our uh, noodle salad that we made earlier. Um, I didn't have any watercress or water chestnuts, and if you do, drain them, cut them up, and put them in the salad. It gives it a little crunchy bite that's spectacular, and thank you for reminding me of that, John. Um, this time I don't have it, but trust me, if you add them, it's going to be delicious. I'm going to garnish with um, the rest of our uh, chopped green onions. I like cilantro, so I'm going to put some extra cilantro on, because yum. And a squeeze of fresh lime juice over the top. It's going to be so good. I also toasted up a little bit of extra sesame seeds to sprinkle on for nuttiness, but also because it's absolutely beautiful. And here it is. Uh, teriyaki grilled tuna with Asian noodle salad. Ah, oh, it's so good. I can't wait for you to try it. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Tell your friends because they need to eat this well too. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Okay, yum. Let's give it a shot. I'm going to show you the inside of this. It's, uh, it's beautiful. Look at little pink in the center. It's cooked on the outside. The marinade made it almost all the way, well, it made it about an eighth of an inch in, which is really good, considering we only marinated it for 45 minutes. I'm gonna give it a shot. Let's see what it tastes like. Mmm, that's so good. Wow. If you're having friends over, make this. They'll go, where'd you buy that from? And you can say, I made it myself. All right, thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon.